Hi, and welcome to Oracle Content and Experience Cloud. If you are an administrator, you have two things you need to do to get up and running. You need to configure service defaults and quotas, and you need to configure users, including adding users to the domain and assigning roles. Once your service is up and running, you can also monitor usage and you can manage users as they change their roles or leave your organization. You do these tasks in two different locations. One, using My Services at cloud.oracle.com, and two, from the administration area of the Oracle Content and Experience Cloud web interface. To do these tasks, though, you need to be either a service administrator or an identity domain administrator. You can do these tasks in any order, but if you add users before configuring defaults, then someone may use the system before you have it set correctly. Instead, it's a good idea to configure defaults first and then add users. To configure service defaults and quotas, you must sign in to the web interface. Sign in information is sent to you in an email when your account administrator activates the service and specifies you as a service or identity domain administrator. After signing in, select Administration from the User menu. Preferences are organized by category and accessed through the Administration Preferences menu. Some of the available options let you set the default storage space for each user, limit the types and sizes of uploaded files, control if and how public links can be used, whether content can be embedded in other domains, and whether to allow virus scanning and what to do with files that can't be scanned. In some cases, an individual user may need more or less storage space than allowed by default. Under the Quota section, you can raise or lower the quota allowed for each individual. Also, if a person left the company or is no longer an Oracle Content and Experience Cloud user, then their name is displayed in the Deprovisioned Users section. Select the user in the list to reallocate their storage quota and also to transfer any content they have left in the service to another user or to delete the content. Managing users is done at cloud.oracle.com. To manage users, you must be an identity domain administrator. To add a single user and assign a role to that user, click Add on the Users tab. Use the form to enter the contact information and select the role or roles you want the user to have from the list of available roles. Note that everyone who uses the service must have the user role, including the service administrator. If you don't have the user role, you will not be able to log into the web service and configure defaults and quotas, so make sure you have it. To add a group of users, you can import multiple names from a CSV file, but after you do that, you need to assign each user one or more roles. You can also assign roles to users in a batch, also using a CSV file, but the users must be added first. That way a unique user identifier is created, which is then used in the CSV file. After a user has been added, use the menu to the right of the user's name to modify contact information, reset passwords, change role assignments, or delete the user. You can monitor your service using the dashboard at cloud.oracle.com. The dashboard shows you information about metrics used to monitor the service. Clicking a service name opens a page specific to the service with additional information. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit cloud.oracle.com.